Hey guys, welcome to Mr. Cully's 7 Steps to Solving Your Problems. Well, in physics anyway. So, here's what I recommend for those of you who are having some difficulty doing some of our physics problems here. All right. So, I'm going to give talk you through 7 steps and uh, then show you an example. And when I do this, it might be a good idea for you to f follow the exact same steps on one of the other problems that you're doing for homework. I think it would make a very big difference. As a matter of fact, this is exactly what I'm going to be looking for and I want to make sure you all do it this way because I'm seeing many people are being very disorganized and, and that's okay but we need to fix that. So let's start here with the first part of our seven steps. I'm going to give you the list. Okay, the first one, this is just going to be your list here, is we're going to say allow space. Make sure you have plenty of space to do your problems in scratch paper, additional pages on your computer, whatever it's going to be. Number two, okay, um, let's see here. Oops, there's an intermediary step, so I think it might be more like eight steps, but that's okay. What are you asked? What are you asked to find. Okay, that means um, what units do you need? Okay, so that means that if you're asked for acceleration, it better be meters per second squared. If you're asked for mass, it better be kilograms or something like that. Three. Okay, choose your tools. Okay, these are your equations that I gave you, and there's only a few equations that you have, but choose your tools based on what you are given. Okay. Not all equations are going to work for you all the time. So based on what you're given, if you're given things like forces and masses and velocities, you have to choose equations that have those things, okay? The next one, set up. Up, equation, okay, to solve for variable. This just means that if you want to find time, you have to get time by itself, okay? Um, and we'll show that in the example, okay? The next one is put in your numbers and units. Don't forget the units. It's all about the units. That's very, very critical. Do calculations and show unit cancellations. And if there are no unit cancellations, then there are no unit cancellations. You don't always have unit cancellations. Okay, number seven. Check your answer. Okay, this is very, 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 very important. Okay, check your answer. You've got to make sure that your answer makes sense. Does it have the right units based on what you were asked to find? Does it make sense? Okay, if you get some answer like a billion of something, maybe you better check because usually those kind of answers are not correct. And then I'll just put a number eight down here. Um, box your answer. Just so that we know that that's your final answer, by the way, with units. Okay, and this is your organized structure, so use this page to help you go through the process. So now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do it with an example, okay? So let's change our ink color. Let's go purple here. So let's say a car that has a mass of 1,000 kilograms is given a push of 500 newtons. What is 
the resulting acceleration. Okay, so first of all, here we have our problem, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow my process. First of all, I'm going to allow a lot of space, all right? Uh, then I'm going to say, what am I given? So I'm going to change this again. Let's go for orange. It's Halloween. Why not? Given mass is equal to 1,000 kilograms. Force is 500 newtons. But remember with the newtons, guys, um, I'm going to say this is the same as 500 meters kilograms over seconds squared. It's important to rewrite newtons as, or kilograms meters seconds squared, it doesn't matter. But you have to get all three of those units in there because the newtons, okay, oops, that should be squared, all right? The newtons are those units, and you will never get any cancellations if you leave it as newtons. You'll just have the N. And remember, we defined newton as, as um, kilogram meter or meter kilogram over second squared. All right? And so now I'm saying, what is it um, that, it's being, that I'm being asked? Asked. I'm being asked for acceleration. So what are the units of acceleration? Meters per second squared. So what I've done is I've put a, a, a note here saying I'd better end up with meters per second squared. If I end up with something that's not these units, these are the correct units, if my, oops, if my answer does not have meters per second squared, then I've done something wrong. Okay. Now I'm going to choose my tool. Since I've got force and mass, and I'm asked for acceleration, Okay, I think my tool that I'm going to use is going to be force is equal to mass times acceleration. Okay, and remember, we have our triangle. Okay, M, A, and then force on the top there. All right, so if I want to solve for acceleration, if I look at my triangle, acceleration looks like it's F over M. So A is equal to F over M m, all right? And that's going to be setting up my equation now. So that's, now I'm down on step three. Set up my equation for what I need. Solve for the variable. So I have solved for the variable. I need my acceleration is equal to force over mass, okay? So now I'm going to go on to the next screen. Okay, again, a is equal to f over m, all right? So the next step was put in the numbers and units. So if that's the case, then my acceleration is equal to force, which was 500 meters times kilogram, or kilograms times meters, over seconds squared. And all of it is over the mass, which is 1,000 kilograms. Okay? And this is where I think some people get confused. Okay? But I've kept the units in there. Kept all the units in there. Um, 1,000 kilograms is the same as 1,000 kilograms over 1. Any number is itself over 1. So, uh, for example, this is just a side example here just to show you. 5 is the same as 5 over 1. Okay? 1,000 is equal to 1,000 over 1. Okay? And I, I do this because I say, remember, dividing by something is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So what I can do is I can go acceleration is equal to 500 meters times kilograms per second squared times 1 over 1,000 kilograms. So I've taken the reverse. I've flipped it. Okay, it's, I've multiplied by the reciprocal. So now I carry it through. I'm going to go down here. Acceleration is equal to 500 meters and kilograms times 1 is just 500 meters times kilograms. I have to keep my units. Don't lose your units. Okay, and underneath I've got second squared times 1,000 kilograms. So I have second squared and 1,000 kilograms. Now we see, are there any units that cancel? And indeed, look, there's kilograms on the bottom, 
kilograms on the top, but notice my meters on the top don't cancel with anybody and my second square don't cancel with anybody, so it looks like nothing else is going to cancel. So this is equal to 500 meters over 1,000 seconds squared. Okay, now since I don't have any units that cancel, I'm going to do my math and 500 divided by 1,000 is the same as 5 divided by 10, which is going to be uh, 0 0.5. So this is going to be 0 0.5 meters per seconds squared. Okay, and I'm going to then say, okay, check my answer. My answer, my answer says it's 0.5 meters per second squared. Do those units make sense when I'm talking about my acceleration? Yes, indeed, they do. Acceleration should be in meters per second squared. So even if I don't know if 0.5 is the exact right number, I know I've got the right units, so chances are I did the problem correctly. All right, And so once I've done my self-check and um, figured out that 500 divided by 1,000, yeah, that's 0.5, that all looks pretty good. Um, there's nothing immediately that tells me that I did something weird or crazy in my math, and my units match up. I have a pretty good confidence level that I did the problem correctly. I've allowed enough space. I have a lot of, right, of room that I left over so that nothing is all crammed together. I have been neat and organized, and most importantly, I've kept my units all the way through. Now that I'm done, I can go ahead at the end and say, aha, I'm going to put my box around the answer and say, great, 0 0.5 meters per second squared is the acceleration that will be experienced by the car that weighs 1,000 kilograms that gets pushed with a force of 500 newtons. All right? So again, guys, remember those steps, and I want you to do each problem that way, okay? And I want you to show the units. I want you to choose the tool, solve for the variable, etc., etc. Practice them. You may not get them right the first time, but this is the way that will allow you to do these things correctly and prevent you from making crazy errors or even small errors that can end up costing you points on an exam, which would then hurt your grade, okay? So thank you for watching the video, and why don't you now give one or two problems a try?